Systemic lupus erythematosus, SLE or lupus, is a chronic, complex, and often disabling autoimmune disorder in which the body's immune system attacks the body's own cells, tissues, and organs. It affects as many as 300,000 people in the United States, and an astounding 90% of those diagnosed are women. If you have lupus, you're always at risk for developing a serious complication of lupus impacting the kidneys called lupus nephritis. I was diagnosed with lupus at the age of 16. During my teenage years, I went from running track, um, being an active, normal teenager, dancing, and beauty pageants to not being able to walk up the stairs at school. Lupus came along and just changed all of that. Uh, it stripped me of everything that I knew. My doctors at the time decided that I should be homeschooled because my immune system was quite low. I was on very high dose of steroids. It wasn't easy in college as well. I, I noticed that my urine was quite cloudy and that I would have swollen um, ankles and, and feet quite often. Um, but at that time, I was on a cocktail of drugs and I didn't think anything of it. In the early stages of lupus nephritis, there may be very few signs that anything is wrong. In fact, some people have no specific symptoms. Symptoms of lupus nephritis may include foamy, bubbly, or frothy urine, swelling that occurs when your body has too much fluid, usually in the legs, feet, or ankles, weight gain, and fatigue. It was my sophomore year of college where it got to a point where I had a hard time breathing. I ended up in the hospital. They were telling me that my kidneys were shutting down and it was, it was just quite a scary time in my life. They put me back on the steroids, heavy doses, um, and um, they let me go. A year after, it's when my primary doctor decided to um, have me see a nephrologist and he said I needed a biopsy. Dr. Donald Thomas has been a leading advocate and medical expert in lupus and lupus nephritis treatment and education for over 25 years. I follow my systemic lupus patients every three months religiously because about one out of every two of our systemic lupus patients will have a problem where their lupus attacks the kidneys, a condition called lupus nephritis. And the best way to pick that up is by getting a urine sample and seeing an elevated amount of protein in the urine. The elevated protein in the urine is the most important laboratory test. So when I see an elevated amount of protein in the urine, I'll send my patient to a specialist who does kidney biopsies. Getting the kidney biopsy is the gold standard for diagnosing lupus nephritis. The quicker we can diagnose it and the faster we can treat it, the greater chances we have of preventing kidney failure. Lupus nephritis is more common in younger women. There is also a higher incidence of lupus nephritis among specific racial ethnic groups. After the biopsy, um, the doctor gave me a diagnosis of lupus nephritis. I was 25. It was a scary moment for me. I wish that at the time when I was having the constant um, frequent ur urination and the swelling of my feet and ankles that they would have told me then that, you know, there was inflammation in my kidneys. One of the main reasons I advocate for lupus nephritis is because, you know, we need our kidneys to live. Nobody wants to have to go through a kidney transplant. We do need a cure for this. And if we don't have a cure, at least we need better medications. We finally have an FDA-approved oral therapy in my toolbox that I can reach for to treat my patients with lupus nephritis and that's Lupkinus. Lupkinus is a prescription medicine used with other medicines to treat adults with active lupus nephritis. Lupkinus should not be taken with a medicine called cyclophosphamide. Make sure to talk with your healthcare provider if you're not sure if you take this medicine. Lupkinus is the first and only FDA-approved oral medication for the treatment of adults with active lupus nephritis. It has been proven in research studies to help control lupus nephritis and protect the kidneys from further damage without high-dose steroids. 
Leukinus can cause serious side effects, including increased risk of some kinds of cancers and infections. Talk to your doctor about the benefits and risks of Leukinus and if it may be right for you. The complete safety information will be shared later at the end of this segment. Leukinus has helped transform the way we treat lupus nephritis. In research studies, people who took Leukinus as part of their treatment plan were about twice as likely to have their lupus nephritis under control at one year of treatment compared to those who only took mycophenolate mofetil and steroids. Leukinus helped to stop the attack of lupus nephritis while using lower doses of steroids than doctors normally would. Leukinus helped to reduce the protein in the urine, or what we call proteinuria, which is a key sign of disease activity, roughly twice as fast than mycophenolate and steroids alone did. People who take Leukinus had a 50% reduction in their proteinuria after an average of just one month. Leukinus was tested in research studies that involved more than 350 people across different races and ethnicities. Aurinia, the company that makes Leukinus, created Aurinia Alliance, a personalized support program to help better understand lupus nephritis, assist people taking Leukinus in navigating insurance and funding options, and support them to help stay on track during the Leukinus treatment journey. For more information about Leukinus and lupus nephritis, visit leukinus.com and you can always go to our website, thebalancingact.com. Important safety information. Leukinus can cause serious side effects, including increased risk of cancer. People who take Leukinus have an increased risk of getting some kinds of cancer, including skin and lymph gland cancer lymphoma. Limit and avoid exposure to sunlight and UV light such as tanning machines. Wear protective clothing and use a sunscreen. Increased risk of infection. Leukinus is a medicine that affects your immune system. Leukinus can lower the ability of your immune system to fight infections. Serious infections can happen in people taking Leukinus that can lead to hospitalizations and can cause death. Call your health care provider right away if you have symptoms of an infection such as fever, sweats or chills, cough or flu-like symptoms, muscle aches or warm, red or painful areas on your skin. Do not take Leukinus with medicines known as strong CYP3A4 inhibitors such as ketoconazole, etraconazole, clarithromycin, or if you're allergic to any of the ingredients in Leukinus, you should not eat grapefruit or drink grapefruit juice while taking Leukinus. Before you use Leukinus, tell your health care provider about all your medical conditions, including if you plan to receive any vaccines. You should not receive any live vaccines during treatment with Leukinus. Other vaccines may not work as well during treatment with Leukinus. Have or have had liver, kidney, or heart problems. Have high blood pressure. Are pregnant or plan to become pregnant or are breastfeeding or plan to breastfeed when taking Leukinus. When taking Leukinus in combination with misophenolate mofetol, read the medication guide for misophenolate mofetol for important pregnancy information. These medicines can harm your unborn or breastfed baby. Tell your healthcare provider about all the medicines you take, including including prescription and over-the-counter medicines, vitamins, and herbal supplements. Leukinus may affect the way other medicines work and other medicines may affect how Leukinus works. Leukinus may cause serious side effects, including kidney problems. Kidney problems are common side effects of Leukinus and may be serious. Your healthcare provider may do certain tests to check your kidney function while you take Leukinus. High blood pressure. High blood pressure is a common side effect of Leukinus and may be serious. Your healthcare provider will monitor your blood pressure while you take Leukinus and may ask you to check your blood pressure at home. Nervous system problems. Nervous system problems are a common side effect of Leukinus and may be serious. Call your healthcare provider or go to the nearest hospital emergency room right away if you have any of these symptoms while taking Leukinus. Confusion, changes in alertness, muscle tremors, numbness and tingling, headache, seizures, vision changes. High levels of potassium in your blood. Your healthcare provider may do certain tests to check your potassium levels while you take Leukinus. A serious heart rhythm problem, QT prolongation, severe low red blood cell count, anemia. Your healthcare provider may check your labs while using Leukinus. The most common side effects of Leukinus are diarrhea, headache, cough, urinary tract infection, stomach pain, heartburn, and loss of hair, alopecia. These are not all the possible side effects of Leukinus. For more information, ask your health care provider. You may report side effects to FDA at 1-800-FDA-1088. You may also report side effects to FDA.gov slash MedWatch. Please see prescribing information, including boxed warning and medication guide for Leukinus.